back your homes or restore your dead to life. But perhaps I can give you justice in the name of our king. <laughs> Hey everyone, yesterday it was announced that HBO is in development of four Game of Thrones spin-offs. Yes, that's right, four different spin-offs. Since Game of Thrones has pretty much become the biggest show in TV history, HBO has decided to continue the award-winning series after season 8 ends. The main story will be over, but the known world has a vast history that many spin-offs could be derived from. We aren't sure what the spin-offs are, or even if they will ever be finished but I think HBO just wants to continue their best series and they're trying to figure out what will work. Anyway, let's talk about a few spinoffs that might be in development. The first one that I know has to be among the four is the Tales of Dunk and Egg. I've talked about it before. Dunk and Egg is a companion series of A Song of Ice and Fire and it predates the events of the main series by about 90 years. It centers around the adventures of a young Aegon Targaryen V and his best friend, Sir Duncan the Tall. There are currently three novels in the series with George R.R. Martin planning to have anywhere from 6 to 12 when complete. Dunk and Egg would fit perfectly as a spin-off of Game of Thrones. We would get a more detailed look at the long Targaryen reign, as well as some coverage on the Blackfyre Rebellion. This is an obvious strong contender for the next spin-off series. The next one is The Long Night. I feel like this would be a perfect series. The Long Night is the generation-long winter that brought the arrival of the White Walkers, leading to Azor Ahai defeating Winter and bringing the Dawn. During the Age of Heroes, the time when the Long Night occurred, many legendary figures were alive, including Bran the Builder, Garth Greenhand, the Grey King, Lan the Clever, and more. I would love to see the Age of Heroes adapted into a television show because the legends from that era are shrouded in controversy. Take this quote from a conversation between Sam and Jon Snow. The oldest histories we have were written after the Andals came to Westeros. The first men only left us runes on rocks, so everything we know about the Age of Heroes and the Dawn Age and the Long Night come from accounts set down by Septons thousands of years later. There are archmaesters at the Citadel who question all of it. Those old histories are full of kings who reigned for hundreds of years, and knights riding around a thousand years before there were knights. This really makes it seem like Sam is doubting the authenticity of what really took place during that time. Alright, the next possibility is Robert's Rebellion. This fits probably the best with the main series. It involves a lot of the same characters set roughly two decades before Game of Thrones. We would get to see a lot of Rhaegar, Robert, and Eddard, as well as Lyanna Stark, the Mad King, Sir Arthur Dane, and others. This would probably be the easiest transition for HBO to make, considering the filming locations wouldn't have to change, and a lot of the same studio sets could be reused like scenes in the Red Keep or Winterfell. If I had to guess, I would say this is a very likely spin-off. The fans already have a relationship with the main characters, and depending on their budget for CGI, the whole project would be a lot more cost effective. Anyway, let's move on. The last spin-off that I think could be a solid contender is The Doom of Valyria, or just a story based on Valyria as a whole. I definitely believe there's value in a series based in Essos, especially during the rise of the Valyrian Freehold. Before the Doom, Valyria was ruled by dragon lords, and they had the most advanced civilization the world had ever seen. I mean, even more advanced than what the known world has now. The Doom of Valyria occurred, and almost the entire peninsula was destroyed. There were no more dragons except for the handful that the Targaryens had at Dragonstone from when they moved there. Still to this day, no one knows what caused the volcanic explosion, except that it had to have been caused by something more than just a natural disaster. Some people believe Melisandre might know something about it, since her speculated age of 400 years lines up perfectly with when the disaster occurred. Anyway, those are my thoughts. Let me know yours in the comments. As always, thanks for watching, have a great day, take care, and I will see you tomorrow.